mean, as a panelist, how do you answer difficult questions that you just don't understand? Okay, I've had that happen to me several times. So here's what I'll do. I always have a pen in my hand and often some sort of piece of paper. So I'll say, so as people are asking me, sometimes I'm writing things down. And so what I'll do is if it's, um, if it's a really crazy question, I will either do a couple of things. Sometimes I'll say, do I understand your question to be? And then I'll think about my notes and I'll read it back to them. Right. If they say yes, then I'll proceed with the answer. If they say no, that's totally it. That's like nothing like I asked. I will say to them, sometimes very cheekily, I'll say, you know, my goddaughter's name is Maddie and Maddie is 11. And if you were asking Maddie that question, what would you ask her? So I put it in the frame of my goddaughter so that people can simplify their question. And so instead of saying, speak to me like I'm a three-year-old, which sometimes I wish people would do, but, you know, for some of my smarty pants clients, you know, sometimes their questions are like, so they use such big words, they don't understand what they mean. Um, and then another thing that I've done sometimes is I would say, if you were asking me that in a different way, how would you word that? And so I give them the opportunity to reword it. And if I really don't understand it, I will say, I'm sorry, I'm not understanding your question. Can you ask me in a different way? Is there a different way to frame that for me? Or I might say, can you give me an example of what you're looking for? 